On one side of the room, the needle of a sewing machine works its way through white and purple fabric. On the other side, a rather large head of a kangaroo takes shape. This is Street Characters, a world-renowned designer and manufacturer of mascots, and Glenn Street is its top dog. Yeah, I'm top dog at mascots.com. I was born in the year of the dog, and uh, I'm also a Gemini, so I'm sure there's lots in there that goes along with the theme. That theme and Street Characters itself originated with this dog, Harvey the Hound, beloved mascot of the NHL's Calgary Flames. I was a volunteer for the Calgary Stampede, and uh, my chairman came to me and said, hey, how'd you like to go to Great Cup all expenses paid? I said, sure, what do I have to do? He said, we have to be the mascot. While I was there, I met to the fellow doing Ralph for the Stampeders, and uh, he said, you know, I've got this uh, thing I'm doing with the Flames. Can you help me with it? So I uh, became partner in Harvey, and uh, Harvey was the first mascot in the National Hockey League. Teams would come play the Flames, and a couple of days later, I'd get a phone call. Hey, that's a great idea. Can you build one for us? The calls got to be too many, and in 1987, uh, we started building them for other, uh, for other organizations. Some 25 years later, those organizations number in the hundreds, from the NHL to the CFL to Major League Baseball and the NFL, as well as corporate clients like Cathay Pacific Airlines and Visa. In the world of mascot making, Glenn truly is top dog. His company employs between 15 and 18 people, and most are university educated with skills in art and design. Our production area is broken into what I would call three key production areas. So this first area here is what we call our props area. And so that's where we make the heads and the feet of the characters, so that's more taking foam, cutting it and sculpting it. We've all taken a mandarin orange and we've peeled it and we've laid the peel flat. Uh, and what we do here is the exact opposite. We start with the flat sheet, we cut out the pattern and then we glue it all together to get the shape that we want. The next area is our sewing area, so that's where our seamstresses are. That's where they're making the, the clothing for the characters, the body of the characters. Um, anything that has to be sewn goes through this area here. And then finally up here is our cutting area. And this is where all the fabrics are cut and pre-production is, is done to get things ready for the character. We have an artist, a full-time artist. So we've drawn all of these characters uh, and had the client sign off. So our team is able to look at these and they're able to determine from these drawings size, pro uh, proportion, shape, and all of those things. Street characters creations start around $7,000 but can be considerably more depending on what the client is asking for. The business world can be dog eat dog, and some do go to the dogs. But for Esther the Black Lab puppy, Harvey the Hound, and street characters, that's a good thing. For Accessible Media, I'm Linda Blackwell.